Hey, what's up gang, Dr. Lee here. And today I'm gonna to talk about why so many people are confused as to why herbal supplements are working for other people, but may not be working for them. So let's really dive into this because this opens up a whole can of worms that we gotta flesh out. So when we are looking at supplements and herbs in particular, herbs are extremely powerful. They have the ability to really impact your health in a uh, very profound way because uh, herbs are, you know, God's plants that are designed to be like medicines for our body that are there to allow us to heal from the inside uh, without trying to make extracts and everything and synthetically take what plants are giving us, which is what pharmaceutical companies do, and then try to boil it down to just the active ingredients that uh, are putting now foreign chemistry into your body. So this is chemistry going into your body the way that it was designed as a whole food that you eat and your body is able to uh, utilize that information that's really coming from the plants and that is going to support different tissues. So it's not here to fight diseases or to fight particular symptoms. It's here to support different uh, organs or tissues in the body. And again, it is there to support so if you have damage to that area or it's not functioning well, this is there to, to kind of give it a big hug and say like, here, let's, let's give it a little bit of a boost. Now, here's where people go wrong. They, they, you have significant health issues. And I deal with this uh, with you know, patients and clients all the time. They're coming in, they have serious health issues going on, chronic diseases, uh, you know, a laundry list of issues that they're, uh, that they're suffering from. And they start thinking that these herbs that they heard such great things about are going to basically save them and, and do all the healing. And they get very discouraged when they start, you know, trying this out and, re and, and not getting the results that they're looking for. And the way I look at it is in that situation, which is really the majority of people's situation, you're kind of taking a fire hose to put out a forest fire. Now, a fire hose is powerful. I mean, it's gonna put out a house fire. Uh, I mean, it's a heck of a lot more powerful than your garden hose, uh, but it's not gonna be able to touch a forest fire. And that forest fire is what we have going on inside of our bodies when the body has become extremely acidic due to the different lifestyle choices or the things in our environment that we're unaware of that are actually acidifying our tissues. And that winds up wreaking havoc on the body. That environment that the body that is in based on the choices and lifestyle that you have has way more of an impact on your health than trying to offset it with these herbs that are that are very very good for you but if you're not addressing that bigger uh forest fire you're kind of screwed so it's not even worth spending the time or the money taking these supplements because it's really not going to move the the needle forward what you have to do is you have to get to the root cause. You have to get the body starting to drain itself of all the excess toxic buildup. You have to get it to do what it's designed to do, which is to detoxify itself. And it's also designed to regenerate itself. So the body is designed to regenerate. If you think about this, this really comes down to you know, the, the spiritual idea of two cells that come together, they form life instantaneously. And that, that uh, miracle of life carries forward to turn those two cells into four cells, into eight cells, and they continue to divide and divide until literally it turns into a, a human being. And that human being continues to grow as from a baby to an adult to you. And then it's gonna continue throughout your whole life. And that miracle never stops. That miracle that sparked life is still inside of us. It is still running the ship. It's still uh, managing trillions upon trillions upon trillions of chemical reactions every single moment of the day inside of our body to a degree that we could never even begin to fathom. And yet we think that, you know, that we can just go and make all these outside decisions to, uh, to impact that, you know, that we're smart enough to really figure it all out. And instead, the best thing that we can do is instead of trying to figure everything out is to figure out what are we doing to get in the way of our body that's do doing the right thing. If we're, we're, we know we're, we're designed with this miracle inside of us of life and life, as long as we're alive, we're resisting the forces of, uh, of deterioration, right? You know, so much of the world is uh, tearing things down, right? The minute a live thing dies, the uh, earth and nature and the forces of nature start to tear that and turn it to dust. The minute we die, we start to decay. 
the, you know, so that's just the that's just the process of nature unfolding and doing its thing. But as long as you're alive, you're resisting that. You're saying, no, 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 no I'm not here to decay. Don't turn me to dust. Not yet. I got stuff to do. And your body goes through the process of repairing tissues and replacing cells all the time. So when we're when we're breaking down and our body is diseased, we have to kind of take a bigger step back and say, wait a second, what's what's going on? Is this is this disease, which is a man-made concept, something that is kind of attacking me or something that I'm destined to because of my genetics? Or perhaps is this something that uh, means that I've been making some serious mistakes and my body is doing the best that it can, but if I've been suffocating it, you know, how well is it going to thrive? Well, well, it's not. It's like a plant that, you know, a little flower that you just haven't been watering and you've kept it away from the sunshine. You've altered the environment in a way to not allow that plant to thrive and it starts to shrivel up. But when you realize, wait a second, I've been interfering with this plant. If it was in its natural ecosystem, we put it out in the sunshine, make sure it gets, uh, you know, the, the, the rain to come down on it, the proper weather, the amount of water that it needs, the proper nutrients in the soil. Gosh, what, guess what happens? That flower thrives. And that's what same thing is. And you can look at it inside, inside the house and you go like, Oh, what disease process does this have? Like what causes this to wilt? Why is this happening? When really what happens is it's like, well, you can, have any number of issues start to show up when something isn't you know in the proper environment doing the proper you're not you're not giving it the proper uh nutrition you're not you're not doing what it was designed to do you're not putting it in an environment that it was designed to live in and thrive in so of course all sorts of things are going to break down you could label all those things and that's what we do within uh, medicine today is label stuff with diseases and call them and call it a disease process when really we're just all the diseases out there are just labeling what the symptom is colitis ulcerative colitis being like that is like what we call when we see the 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 digestive tract in the bowel wall that's extremely inflamed the colon is inflamed colon colitis itis means inflammation so you have inflamed colon and then there's ulcerations, meaning that there's there's parts of that inflammation has gotten so bad that it's actually begun to, to break through the blood vessels and they're starting to bleed. So you're literally having the tissue starting to break down. You have ulcerative colitis and people go, oh, I got ulcerative colitis. Like it's something and versus just taking a picture and describing the picture. It's literally just a described picture. When we call things by the disease name, it's literally we've just labeled what it looks like and there and and how the process is unfolding at what stage in the disease pro or the breakdown of the tissue process is it in and that's what diseases happen to be so it's a total man-made uh construction that isn't actually how our body operates we don't we don't walk around diseased we walk around not being able to express our vitality because something is interfering with that and something that the things that interfere with that is you're not getting enough of the three energy systems in the body that are that are supposed to be working to keep our body functioning the way that it's supposed to. Um, and that's namely, are you getting enough blood blood flow? Are you getting the proper nerve supply so that everything is connecting up? And then are you able to drain all of the waste that the cells create inside of the body? And if your cells are getting blood, they're getting nerve supply, and they can eliminate their waste without any interferences, you're going to be healthy and you're not going to have disease processes. Like, end of story. End of story. Because our cells are, are very simple if you look at them simply. You can make them very complex. But if you look at them simply, if they're getting those those uh, processes they're working, then they're going to do their function. They're not going to break down. Make sure that they have the blood supply with the proper nutrition in there. And all of a sudden, guess what? They're like, well, I got all the food. I got all the minerals. I got uh, all the uh, elements that are necessary for me to do my job. It's like a factory that says, hey, yeah, we got all the supplies. Let's go to work. And then it does the work. But guess what? What happens when your your cells, like a big factory, they do all this work and then now they, they're going to have byproducts. They're going to have waste. There's going to be they're, they're, there's going to be trash. And so that trash has to get out. Right. And, and it has to how where does it go? It goes into the trash can. And then that that waste removal process is part of it. Otherwise, everything is going to back up. All the waste is going to back up into the factory. And then all the different factory workers have to be able to communicate and they have to be able to know, you know, who they're selling their supplies to and uh, and then have all that. So the factory isn't independent all by itself. It has to have other people outside of the factory that it's doing business with and orchestrating with can with a. Uh, you know, all the human resources and getting people to and from work, like to getting to the factory. And so all of that is like your nervous system that is conducting, you know, how does that 
uh, factory play in with the greater economy and, and the rest of the uh, and the rest of the body. And if you have those three things, the nutrition through the blood, you get the nervous system, the connection to everything else, and then like, how is this playing its role, not just alone, but in connection to everything else. And then you get the drainage system to make sure the waste removal is happening. You will not have any of these so-called disease processes in the body in that cell that we're talking about. And that is what all breakdown is, is, is uh, or does name disease diseases are in particular cells and those cells aren't functioning the way that they're supposed to. And then that's what ultimately will become labeled as a disease process. So when we look at the supplement industry, which just totally piggybacks off of what pharma, like, uh, like the pharmaceutical industry does, which chases symptoms and goes after a symptom-based approach, and then it's totally unregulated. So uh, not that big pharma is, is well-regulated, but um, there's a little bit more standards that they, they, they can set. But even, even then, I don't want to give them any credit because it's just, it's just a higher level uh, fraud, in my opinion, on how they operate. However, people that are selling supplements, it's like they can basically say whatever the heck they want. You know, back in most, most of the back of supplement bottles, it says, you know, these, have, these uh, uh, claims have not been uh, supported by the, the or uh, what, what, what does it say? Something like these, have not, these claims haven't been supported by the FDA or haven't been, uh, been checked by the FDA or something like that. And that just means that it hasn't gone through the FDA approval, which, again, I also don't have high... Uh, respect for the FDA. Point being, all they can basically say whatever the heck they want for these supplements, and they can sell it to you. And so most supplements, uh, most people that are selling supplements are marketers, and marketers who are like, oh, I, this is like, th this is like shooting fish in a barrel, I can basically make whatever claim I want, uh, to a degree, and then people will buy this, and if they don't like it, that's all right, because the next person, you know, will do it. So they're literally selling snake oil, and it just totally waters down the whole idea that there are some things that actually aren't supplements, which are um, whole food, plant-based nutrition, which are herbs. So herbs, totally different category in my opinion. It's not a supplement. It is there to be uh, nature's uh, hug to each different organ system, because Certain herbs have a certain have a have a particular affinity for certain tissues in the body that is going to kind of just make them work a little bit better. It's gonna it's gonna be there to raise their vibe, uh, to to supply a particular uh, amount of nutrition that certain tissues and cells inside of the body uh, respond to, and they do well. Although back to my original point, you can support say your intestinal lining by giving it some good stuff, but if you are constantly uh, eating acidic foods and uh, animal-based foods that uh, are literally doing the complete opposite. It's tearing down your tissues. It's backing up the lymphatic system. It's not really supplying the uh, appropriate nutrition that you really think is the, 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 you know, you're led to believe that it is. And instead, you're now actually contributing more to the fire. So you're literally adding fuel to the fire while taking a you know a fire hose trying to put it out but you literally just you know started a whole another fire in a whole different area so you know you're not offsetting the balance there and so that's why people get really discouraged by uh by knowing that, th that there's a truth right whenever you hear something that's truthful it like it, it strikes a chord like this just makes sense like it makes sense intuitively it makes sense to me that herbs should work and and I know that it's, I know that it works for other people. So why, you know, why then am I not seeing the benefit from it? And I personally have experienced this, you know, I've tried different herbs, uh, you know, years ago uh, to, I was, I was going to say varying degrees of success, but honestly to very, you know, marginal success. Uh, it didn't really shift the, the needle forward in, in a significant way. And that's because I was making the same mistake that I'm telling you about, which is why I'm so passionate about it because I was still uh, eating foods that were acidifying my body, even though I thought I had a healthy diet at the time. And that just continued to, to tear my tissues down more and more and more. Meanwhile, I'm spending, God, I was spending like 400, 500 bucks a month on different herbs that I was, that I was taking and other supplements on top of that. 
and think you know thinking like man like this is gonna this is gonna do the trick like i've seen all the research behind it i know this works like i and, and i just wasn't really feeling the the effects in it in, in a significant way and it was because i just kept making that same mistake over and over again and this has carried out into you know this lesson that i learned has been carried out into my practice and i've seen it be uh you know true time and time again you start making better you, you change up the environment so people are making better decisions when they're when people become aware of like oh crap what i'm eating has been uh acidif acidifying my tissues well what, what can i eat that's going to start to alkalize my tissues and you start doing that uh or you start completely detoxing the the digestive tract getting everything out clearing that vessel uh which is just so chock full of literally crap that now you start to flush that out, you allow the digestive tract to start to work better, then now you actually have a, something that's going to be able to, to make a difference. Now these herbs, when you take them, uh, are you're going to start to notice the impact. They can actually get to work. They can actually start supporting the tissues so that we can take areas that have been damaged by you know one of the lack of three energy flows and so now you start to bring that uh, you know the blood the proper blood flow back but really by making sure that we're taking care of the waste removal system once where your body starts to naturally do that when you stop acidifying it and so we want to make sure that there's certain organ systems like the kidneys that are well supported because that's going to be your primary way of getting junk out of there out of your body um, and then usually you want to do things to support your adrenals, but there's different tissues in the body that are going to be compromised in most people. And that is where, uh, in conjunction with alkalizing the body and alkalizing the tissues, we can use, uh, herbs wisely in order to, to make a fantastic shift in your health that you, you may not be able to get to without the herbs. So there is a role that they play, a very significant one, when used uh, at the right time and appropriately. So that's my, that's my uh, spiel on herbs and, so, and the confusion that you may be suffering around it uh, because it's, it, they, are, they are a good thing uh, when used appropriately. So I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. This is, uh, this is our time to raise the vibe, guys. This is our time to really get out there, make the right decision and with your health and everything starts with you. If you can start to elevate your health, you're gonna elevate your consciousness. And by elevating your consciousness, you're going to elevate the consciousness, the shared consciousness of the entire planet and which we need right now, right? We're, we're in very unstable times where things are tipping towards the positive and but but it, when that happens we're going through a phase change where everything is getting all shook shook up right now so right now if you're watching this because you have been shook up and you feel like your life has been shook up then this message is coming to you at the right time because it's time to pop into that next uh that next level where your body can actually start to heal and you can pull out of this and you can start to get out of this brain fog of you know your body just dragging you down so love you and we'll talk soon